What is going on guys, the Soros Fox here today, back again with another Football Manager 2018 Stoke City Football, Ma football Manager video of course. Uh, it's been a while since the last episode, just over a week or two since the last episode, but we're here back again. Things have been better since the last episode as you remember, we lost 2-1 to Watford and 4-1 to West Ham. Things have changed quite a lot since then. Starting off, since we last played West Ham, David Moyes has been sacked. Which is quite funny, because he got sacked. <laughs> but uh, it's a bit frustrating to know they beat us 4-1. And he got sacked, but they are 17th in the Premier League. What do you expect? So, also looking at the jobs, Roy Hodgson got sacked from Crystal Palace. Click on the wrong thing, like a smart person. Yeah, Roy Hodgson got sacked. Jurgen Klopp's been sacked as well. Uh, what do you call it? Claude powell has been sacked as well. Everyone's losing the job in the Premier League this year. Also, Jorge Jesus has took over the Tottenham job, taken over from Mauricio Pochettino, who got sacked on the 18th of November. So, yeah, Liverpool haven't got managers. You know, West Ham, Palace, and Leicester all haven't got managers. And that's about it for this. So let's update you with the results. So as you know, we lost, we lost two one to Watford and four one to West Ham. After that game, we did play Crystal Palace and we got all three points there. Total domination from our side. Maxim Chupamoting getting a goal, with an equaliser from Lee Chung Young. But Berhino did get us a winner, so that was nice. Made, we struggled a bit. We had to make tactical changes. Bring Peter Crouch in that on eighteen shots, ten shots on target. 56% of the ball, we did quite well to win. Then we had a bit of a nightmare game to Newcastle where we lost 3-1. Uh, as you can see, Jamal Lasalle did score first. Then we got an equaliser with... Actually, no, sorry. Lasalle scored and Perez scored. So we were 2-0 down. Made it 2-1 in the 28th minute. And then we just couldn't get back in the game. It was quite an even game, as you say. 50-50% possession. 13 shots, 5 on target from us. 12 and 8 for them. Not much change to the squad, we just fell short on the day. Lost three points, we'll accept it. Then we had the game at Old Trafford against Manchester United. We lost 3-1 to a Lukaku hat-trick. We, we did so well in the first half. We defended really well, as you can see, 60th minute. Lukaku got his first goal, and then 83rd minute he got his second. We started pushing more, for we've got to go for it. We started playing better on the counter, and then... We scored and then they scored straight after, so we got a hat-trick. But fair play to Dembele. We had six shots, one on target. Of course, it was always a defensive performance from us. Just trying to do what we did against Chelsea and Arsenal in previous matches. That worked really well. And we got absolutely battered. 28 shots to 10. Yeah. That's all you can say, really. United were the better dominant team. Then back at home at the Bet365 Stadium. Xerxes and Shaqiri got us all three points against Bournemouth. Scoring in the 71st minute. Not the best game for a home game. 13 shots, 7 on target. Again, 50-50% of the ball. But got quite lucky there as well. Shakira got the match for that. Then this is where things started picking up. We played top of the league Southampton. I don't know if they're still... No, they're down second in the league now. We beat Southampton. We're near enough unbeaten for the, most of the season coming into this. They beat Manchester City, they beat Arsenal, they beat United, beat most of the big teams. But we spoiled the party from Sider Berry, you know, six minute goal. Got us all three points. Then this is the big one. Away at Wembley, we beat Tottenham 3 0. Musa Dembele with two goals, and Sider Berry, you know, making it three. Just Tottenham was absolutely terrible. Looking at the team they played out, they should have been a lot more threatening than 13 shots, 2 on target. And they should have probably scored some goals, but no. Well, I'm quite happy with 44,000 attendance away at Wembley. Only 2,500 fans of us, of our fans, but we done well. Musa Dembele getting a brace of goals. Very nice there. And then the last game before today's games in this episode, we beat Everton 1-0. Stefano, St Stefano Storaro scored the goal. And yeah, 16 shots, 9 on target. We dominated the game, really. A bit lucky with a 1-0. So yeah, we're in a four-match winning run. 
So 12 points in a row, so that's nice from the Premier League games. In this episode, of course, we're playing Wolves in the EFL Cup quarter final. That'll be a tough game at home. And then we'll just play Huddersfield as well. So let's just look at the league table. As you can see, we're up to 8th now, 25 points, still on a minus 5 goal difference. 8 wins, a draw and 9 losses. Quite a balanced season, but it is still quite open from the relegation zone, so we do need to still be wary of that. Of course, 17 points for Leicester, 16 points for Palace and 15 points for Bournemouth. But we just need to keep picking up results. We're only 18 games into the season as well. If you're looking at Chelsea, our top of the league, fair enough. Unbeaten. Southampton have now lost to Huddersfield, Stoke and Chelsea. Yep, that says it all. So let's get into this match against Wolves at the Bet365 Stadium. So, the lineups to play Wolves is just a standard team. Butland, Peters, Wimmer, Zuma, Cameron, Stuaro, Fletcher, Jupimoting, Sopi, Shakiri, and Dembele. And quite the difficult formation to break down for Wolves which they've been playing a lot like this with the wing backs as well. They've got Jack Ruddy, Willy Bolly, Connor Cody, Maddie, Dowerty, Ruben Neves, Sammy so uh, that's not even not Sammy Size, what I'm mind about. Remain Size, Barry Douglas, Alfred and Dye, Kevin Phillips, Calvin Phillips, whatever you want to call him. D and Diego Jota. And of course they've got Helder Costa, Ryan Bennett. Leo Bonatini, Ivan Cavalera on the bench. I think just because they're playing this formation and they're having the wing backs and they've got the two players to sit in the midfield, that's the reasons why Cavalera and Costa are on the bench. But really, I probably would be playing them because they could be threat to us. So, kick off here at the Bet365 Stadium. Of course, we're against Nuno Espirito Santo. As a manager, straight away, they've put a ball in the box and Ruddy's had to make a save. Free kick from Stefano to. Look, his name's confusing me now. Stuaro, and it's just over the bar. Corner for Shakiri to whip it in. This, and it's a good header from Kurt Zuma. 33 minutes in, making it 1 0 to us in the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup or the Carabao Cup, whatever you're going to call it this year. Shakiri with another corner. Chupin Moting picks it up. Simple pass backwards to Stuaro. Fletcher to Zuma now. To Fletcher, Jupimoting, can he take it wide? It's a good tackle from Dowerty though. Who's looking to go on the break for Wolves. Silver, Kelvin Phillips. Good ball back through to Silver. It's Silver, Jack Butland. Hasn't conceded for quite a few games. It's a good job he's kept a clean sheet there. Decent save as well. Phillips with a corner. Puts it in. Silver. Good little back heel. But that's the end of that attack. So, in the other game, Chelsea-Southampton is 0-0. So, that has given us a bit of a boost. Hopefully, Southampton can, of course, knock Chelsea out. That would mean a better semi-final matchup for us. If we can, if we get one of them teams, of course, we're still not through yet. Only 45 minutes gone. Not as dominant as I thought we would, but as you know, the formation is pretty hard to break down from Wolves. But a good performance so far, I would say. John Ruddy with a goal kick for Wolves. We've intercepted it with Kevin Wimmer. Jupiter Moting, Darren Fletcher, Tustawaro, Shakiri finds Cameron on the overlap. But to, tries to put a deep ball in, but we've given the ball away. We've got a high line, it's 3v4. We've lost the ball. Well, we've won a ball. It's gone straight to Ruben Neves. Silva, Ndoye. Can we clear the ball? Fletcher back to Butland. Who's going to clear it? To Ramadam Sopi. Musa Dembele now. Can he find a pass? He's trying to dribble with it. Ramadam Sopi, he's had a. Audacious effort there, and he's put it wide. So we're gonna make some changes. I think we'll put Rabadam Sobby out wide, so Stawaro and Chupamoting come off to and get the extra strike and Crouchy next to Dembele, and we will bring Joe Allen on. Just some fresh legs to try to keep things going, because Wolves will come at us quite a bit these last ten minutes or so. On the ball, can we look? We look to come forward now. It's Shakiri to Jeff Cameron. Put an absolute poor ball in the box. Straight to John Ruddy. I'm going to give it to Connor Cody. To Willie Bolly. To Barry Douglas. Out to Ndaye. Through to Silver. Good save. Butland. Well, he's called Silver, but it's Diego Jota. Phillips 
with the ball in. Sobby's cleared it. So it's still 1 0. Not been the best game in terms of quality, but we are winning, and there's only a few minutes left to go. So it'd be nice to see out the win if we can. And it looks like we're going to Kevin Wimmer with the ball forward, and the referee's blown the whistle for full time. So we're through to the semi finals of the Carabao Cup. So looking at the stats, we had 12, 13 shots, 2 on target, they had 11 shots, 3 on target. We had more of the ball. We struggled to break them down, we just couldn't get any chances, well, other than 13 chances created. A lot of them are off target, of course, 11 of them. And we only got the two shots on target and the two goals, well, the one goal, sorry. But they were just hard to break down, they had a few chances at us, but could Butland had to save anyway. So, Liverpool have got the new manager in, Roberto Mancini. Don't know why, he just always seems to get the job at Liverpool. Even on Football Manager 2017, every game I had, if Klopp got sacked, it would be Mancini to take over. And we'd always have some sort of rivalry that got quite nasty, but yeah. So we have the EF, the Carabao Cup semi-final draw. It's, it's going to be an all-Premier League semi-final. Burnley, Chelsea, West Ham. Hopefully we can get Burnley. But of course, that nev that's never going to happen. We're always going to get Chelsea because that's the one the one game I didn't want. So of course, it's the game going to give us. But you never know. We could go through. You never know what team Chelsea are going to play on the day. So away match at Stamford Bridge in January. A two actually no. I say away match is two legs, ain't it? So it's home and away. So two tough matches against Chelsea. Also, it's good to see Tony Pulis is excited by our informed team, as he doesn't have a job because he got sacked from West Brom. So back in the Premier League, we've got Huddersfield to town, Huddersfield Town to play at home, and we've got an unchanged well, other than Ryan Shawcross coming in the team. It's an unchanged lineup from the previous match, whereas Huddersfield are playing Lossell, Lerva, Bella Loane, Georgeson, Smith, Williams, Hogg, Tomins, Palmer, Kachunga, and Kwana. So, straight away, we're looking to come forward. We've lost the ball. Huddersfield to come forward. No, we've won the ball back. Shakiri's played one out wide. We've lost the ball again. Lossell plays it forward. Here we go, Ramadan Soppy. Okay, things are looking positive. Po positive start, positive start. Shame we can't pass the ball to each other, but other than that, things have been alright, I suppose. Jupin Moting going forward. Jupin Moting, ball back post. Ramadan Soppy, one minute in the match, has scored. The little guy has scored a header from, back, from the back post, and we're up to seventh in the league if things go well. Corner, Shakiri takes it. It's only come out to Stawaro. Darren Fletcher to Stawaro. Ooh, just past the post. That effort, good effort there. Can we come forward again? Ramadam Sobby tries to look forward, but Stawaro's give it back to give it to Dembele. Out wide to Shakiri. Took it to the byline. Back post. Stupid moting. Good save from Lossel. Dembele. Back post quickly again. And six minutes in, we're two 0 up. Maxim Stupid moting gets another goal for the season. Got to throw in it's. Jeff Cameron to take it to Ramadan Soppy. Looks to go forward, but only straight to Bella Loane. Poor ball forward there. Lossell's played it forward. Let's give it to Quirner, to Tom Ince, to Jonathan Hogg. Zoom has intercepted it. Yeah, Lerva forward to Tom Ince. Puts one in the box, and Jack Butlin's conceded a first goal for 500 minutes of football, I think. So, yeah, a bit disappointing, but it was a good goal. So, it's half time, we're 2-1 up, we've been the most dominant side, but we've lost possession too, too much at crucial times. So, still all to play for in the second half. Big thing is, Manchester City are 0-0 with Burnley, because Aguero missed a penalty. Quite a lot to do for most teams, second half, West Ham, Southampton 0-0, Everton, West Brom 0-0, United, Watford 0-0, Swan Swansea winning 1-0. We're winning 2 1, 0 0 for City, Burnley, 0 0 Bournemouth Palace. Big game for them because that's a relegation battle. Three points must win for both sides. And Arsenal are winning 2 0 against Brighton. Huddersfield look to come forward straight away, but we've closed Tomins down. We've closed out the threat. 
and we just continue. So quite a quiet second half for 67 minutes into the match now. It's starting off with a poor bit of passing from Huddersfield out the back there. We've won the ball back. Poor pass from Darren Fletcher. For, for a team that's on short passing play, that was rather stupid. We look to come forward again. We've given the ball away again. And now it's Huddersfield to come forward. It's Palmer. He's just Casey Palmer. Just scored. 2-2. Two -two. So stoppage time now. We look. It looks like it looks like we've won the match. I can't speak. We've won the match. It's good. Seventeen shots, eight on target. We've won three two. Disappointing to concede the two goals, but it happens. We got the win. That's all that matters. So next episode is going to be one to watch because it's two massive games. We're going to come back for Ch Manchester City in the Premier League at home and Chelsea. At home in the EFL Cup second leg. So of course we've got the FA Cup. We got Liverpool, Brighton, Leicester, Millwall, Chelsea, Burnley to play. Good chunk of games, which puts us into then the mid, the end of January sort of time. But um, it's just them games afterwards: Chelsea, Arsenal, Swansea, Chelsea, City. All just if you take Swansea out, we just it's very difficult games to play. But we've got to do it. We're sixth place in the Premier League. I didn't, I, I didn't realise that. Looking at the league table, Chelsea are top on 45 points. Southampton is still second. Fair play to them. Arsenal third. United fourth. City fifth. We're sixth. Which at the time it said we we're seventh, but we're in sixth place. That's a bonus, I suppose. My job is definitely untouchable. Considering how bad things were going at the start of the season, to how greater things are going now. Like I say, we, we've just had a bounce and bounce of results. Looking at the league, like 15 points in the last five Premier League games. We've won every one of them. And we've also threw in the EFL Cup, which is a bonus. So the six league wins in a row, well, six games won in a row, is just a massive boost. If you remember to early on in the season, that's only really five games, five games in a row in the friendlies. Then we had a bad start to the season. Then we had three games in a row. Then we lost. Then we won another two. Then we lost another two. Then we won. Then we lost another two. And of course, we're just six games on being at the moment, which is good. So thanks for watching this episode. Hope you've enjoyed. Please come back for the next episode. It's a must-watch episode, of course, because it's two big games. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'm out. Peace.